Thank you so much for the introduction and good morning all. Uh, I'm a PhD student working with uh, uh, fungal communities and in microbiological cultures and in complex sample. Uh, this is the uh, fungal operon I'm, I'm studying and uh, is composed by three conserved region and two hypervariable one. And inside the conserved region, we have uh, more domains that can help in taxonomical assignment. But the best question is, which is the best marker for taxonomical assignment? So with short reads, we have a few possibilities, but with long uh, reads, we wanted to um, do a first approach uh, with Minion and amplify uh, 3.5 kb and 6 kb, that is the wall operon, to see if any difference could be detected. We started uh, with uh, uh, three uh, samples, uh, one from Mock Community Standard, cultures uh, samples, and uh, a complex sample from skin dogs. This is the workflow I used um, uh, for both uh, Amplicon sites, and uh, the aim was uh, to fast detect the uh, communities of fungi, uh, so we used WIMP. The first results for microbiological cultures and mock community were uh, uh, of Malassezia pachydermatis in microbiological cultures uh, was correctly detected by both sides. Uh, also, um, from, the, uh, from the mock community standard, uh, these two fungi were correctly detected. For microsporum canis, uh, we detect bet, uh, bet, bester, uh, uh, best uh, 6 uh, kb instead of uh, 3.5 uh, kb. And then we have aspergillus and candida that uh, uh, were not uh, identified at the beginning at species level, but thanks to Minion, we found that it was aspergillus fumigatus. And candida showed uh, a problem. The colonies of Candida uh, were uh, orange-red-like, uh, and uh, we found that it was not Candida in our cultures. If not, it was Rhodotorula graminis, that is the causal agent of this color. So now uh, I wanted to, to focus on Malassezia pachydermatis because it's one of the mo most uh, common yeasts we can find on the skin, and uh, we get uh, three uh, pure culture samples that uh, we know that were pachydermatis and uh, other cultures that we didn't know which species of pachydermatis it was. Uh, thanks to Minion, we saw that uh, it's always pachydermatis in our cultures. And uh, we use uh, the pure cultures of pachydermatis as positive control to uh, then sequence the complex samples. From the same dog, we collected uh, two kinds of sample, one affected and one uh, um, healthy uh, from the ear. And we saw uh, that uh, when it is um, uh, affected, the Malassezia species are changing instead of uh, the um, uh, healthy one that is uh, um, normally pachydermatis. So, as pachydermatis is really important uh, in the skin of the dogs, uh, we want now to go for the whole genome uh, um, sequencing. Until now, we have uh, done the guppy uh, with flip flop, the biner and canoe, and we obtained context, uh, the longest one are shown here, and the next step will be to complete this genome. So, in conclusion, we found that the 6KB are better to uh, detect the um, uh, fungal communities. Uh, we also need uh, the updated databases. And uh, the next uh, steps will be, uh, as I told you before, uh, the com to complete the Malassezia pachydermatis whole genome analysis, and then uh, to um, uh, go for a clinical metagenomics to detect the fungal uh, disease, the, the fungal causal agent disease. And uh, uh, just a suggestion, uh, you have to be very patient with the fungi because uh, they can always surprise you and also sometimes you get frustrated because you are not finding what you are expecting. And in the end, I want to uh, say thanks to my Barcelona team <laughs> that is uh, here with us, Anna Cusco, Joaquin Vinas, and Olga Francino, also to Armand Sanchez, and also thanks to these cute doggies for giving us the samples to study. And thanks to all for uh, listening to me.